So let's begin with getting the bottom surfaces because on the drawing, we look at this. This is the tab feature. If we go to page one, the bottom surfaces of that tab are called out as datum F. So two surfaces together are creating one datum plane. And then this profile is controlling basically how flat those two are together and the angle relative to datum B. Since it's constrained to datum B, it's going to limit the Z direction as well. So let's add those in. We can create two separate planes and combine them, or we can do it all as one plane. One little shortcut I like to do here, if I'm going to measure them as polylines on each one, it's the quickest way is to just create a plane with a polyline, a polyline on each one. And notice when I create that plane, it's not adding a polyline immediately, but we can do that Let's just go to Resources, Save Load Defaults, and then under Strategy, we'll go to the Plane, we'll click Enabled, change the settings. We're going to add in a polyline, and the edge distance will be one millimeter. The edge deviation, which is the rounding off of the corners, we'll set that also to one. Our speed, let's set this to seven and our step width 0.2. Okay. So now when I extract a plane, it creates the polyline. So we have two planes, each with their own polyline. And then I can just create another plane that we recall the feature points and now this is our datum F. So now we'll go form and location and profile profile of that datum F surface relative to datum B. Now in Calypso, profile can be kind of picky. It doesn't like to have one datum. So what we can do, since our base alignment is already leveled on datum B, we could reference this to the base alignment and it would still be following this callout. So we'll put in our tolerance, 1.5. All right, 